three. Now, she was once part of a hugely successful girl band, but the pressure of life as a pussycat doll took its toll on Nicole Scherzinger. She's recently opened up about her struggle to tackle an eating disorder and has chosen to use it as inspiration for her latest album. The single is called On The Rocks. We're going to find out more from the former X Factor judge. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Let's have a listen to the single. Let that toy hit your mouth or I'll shop you up this picture. Welcome to breakfast. You know, I always get quite excited when we have like pop stars coming on and everything. But I worry for you because we're used to the early mornings, aren't we? <laughs> but you're living it up late at night, be all these glamorous events. How are you feeling? How, was it a bit of a shock being on the sofa this morning, this early? No, I was ready. You're um, ready for it? Yeah, it seems like we're always doing these glamorous events, but it's, um, you know, I'm hustling, working just like everybody else and going to bed at the right time and making sure I'm Waking up, I know this is, I was excited for this this morning, so I made sure to get some sleep for this. <laughs> Good work ethic. Yeah. It's what you need, isn't yeah, it, to it's succeed about, in this industry? All about your the work industry. ethic, yes. And you've worked incredibly hard. I mean, I know we get distracted by the posters and the, the tours, but, you know, when you were starting off as a pussycat doll, I mean, as a, as a young woman at the time, mm -hmm. how, was that just relentless? Yeah, I've always had that mentality. I was born with it. My mom said that whenever I would colour, I would... If ever I drew out of the line slightly, I'd crumble up my paper and I'd throw it. I'd get so upset. So just it, it's how my brain works. Things can always be better. And I'm quite a perfectionist. And yes, I'm, it's all about hard work. And when you've talked recently about the dark days then and, and, and your struggles, and you've been very open about that, about mm -hmm. bulimia, do you think part of that is, is from the pressure that you faced as a, as a young pop star in the, in the international spotlight? I think a lot of it, I think there's a lot of different things that play into it. You know, I started um, when I left home and I went to college, and um, I think everybody battles with something, you know, whether it's something in their head or an addiction to something, and that was just my way of trying to, trying to get, deal with something I didn't know how to deal with. So we all have our own issues and our own struggles and our own battles, and that was a big one of mine. It's interesting you mentioned that it happened when you went to college, or well, that's when you felt the battles come. Mm -hmm. Because so many people look at the pop industry or the music industry and have these images. And often these images, celebrity images, are blamed or attributed to young girls and young men wanting to look a certain way. Do you feel that now you're in this industry and you've experienced bulimia and these troubles, that perhaps you, there's some responsibility to project a, a decent, wholesome image or a healthier image? Definitely. That's definitely what I want to project and promote, a, a healthier image, most importantly, and not only an image, but from within um, the meaning of self and self-acceptance. You know, that's very important to me. So I think we all have, for me, I just have my own insecurities. And we all have self-esteem issues growing up and everything. And those really played a part. And then obviously when I joined the Dolls, you know, it kind of was on another larger scale and amplified and everything was just put on, you know, about how you look. And it was weighed so heavily on that. And then that kind of made it really escalate. But, um, but yeah, I'm... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and, and, you know, when you're putting everything, the, the new album is out. I mean, this is, a, this is an important moment for you, isn't it? This is, a, this is a, a big moment. This is a big album. Yeah, it's a very important moment for me because I'm the most honest I've ever been. And, How do you mean? Uh, with my music. I think <laughs> as a woman now, I'm just more confident and more comfortable in my skin never I, I have never been able to speak about my issues in the past and now I realize now that I have and got past the shame and everything that I'm, I realize I'm a voice and a light for other people who struggle with their own issues and their own battles and that means a lot to me especially I know that I'm helping my uh, some of my believers and my fans out there and so is, is that why you wanted to speak out because you didn't have to you could have just kept this private and and well, a big part public. of the reason why I, I first came out about it is back in the States, they had a show called Behind the Music for VH1. And there were so many misconceptions about me being in the Dolls group. And people, uh, there's a lot of meaning behind Big Fat Lie. 
Um, but basically, it's like you know, things aren't always what they appear to be or what well, they what seem to be. What were people saying? Saying that with a mis misconception. Well, you know, it's the name, it's the image, it's the concept. Do you know what I mean? And so. In like you said, oh, this glamorous yeah. life, and last night, are you here able to, you know, it's like, no, I worked just as hard as anybody else. Like my parents, when they grew up, and I came from very humble beginnings, that's the mentality, that's what I learned for. So um, I'm very strict with myself on that. Let's see a bit more of that hard work, shall we? There's another, another video from the album. And I Now that video, I worked my butt off for a couple of months doing lots of squats and make sure and I, making sure I felt very fit and strong for the video and wanted it to be very natural, stripped down and organic. But back to the, the album, when you asked me why is it so honest, is I'm just talking about certain issues that I've had personally and I'm talking about, like I said, I'm confident and comfortable enough in my skin. I'm talking about love, relationship, heartbreak, sadness, struggles. So. Um, I mean it in that way, so it's very personal in that way, so that I want people to realize that they can relate to me and I can relate to them and that they feel like they're not alone, that they're like, wow, that's, that's why people love the Adele's and the Sam Smith's so much. They're like, I listen to that music and I feel the same way and I know what it's like to feel that way. I know you don't want to talk about Lewis Hamilton and, and your relationship. I know you're very private about parts of that, but while you're talking about being open in the album, the, the, we've been talking this morning about Jules Bianchi and his accident last week in Formula One. That must be a, a sobering and, and, and terrible thing for, for you as the girlfriend of Lewis Hamilton to see. I mean, what's that been like to to see and deal with? I mean, it's been very hard. I'm, all I know is that I've just kept his family and him in my prayers. Um, it's obviously quite a shock that this is, we forget sometimes that this F1, it's a life or death situation. When they go out in those cars every week, it's very, very serious. So, I mean, I'm, I know it's a shock to everybody and make, puts everything into perspective. So, Does it make you more worried this weekend, the racing again? No, I can't it? think that way. I cannot think that way. I have to be very positive. All my prayers go to Lewis and, and the rest of the drivers as well. Okay. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for your honesty and for your time this morning. Thank Good you. luck with Thank the you. album. Good luck with Thanks the album. We enjoyed it. Thank, Thank you. you. And of course, um, Nicole's new single is called On the Rocks. It's from the new album, Big Fat Lie. We are